I know that animal lovers and fur parents just like me have been asking this question for quite a while because this type of behavior goes to show somebody's innate character, their personality, and how they really behave when you get an animal and you do not keep it for the duration of its life and then you get another animal and you don't keep it for the duration of its life. That goes to show that somebody is a habitual abandoner of pets. Somebody that will neglect a pet the minute it no longer serves a purpose or means to their life or impedes their ability to get housing or to take it with them if they're moving, that shows you a chronic habitual bad behavior because most people that have pets will do anything to accommodate those pets and care for them and to find appropriate housing or somebody to foster them until they are able to do that. Most people don't abandon their pets. Like this teacup chihuahua this beautiful purebred French Bulldog. And again, not only one, but two cats. Purebred Shih Tzu named Pixie, which was also a recycled name, which is already weird enough. So you already know that purebred animals, especially ones that are like teacup chihuahuas and uh, shih tzus, French bulldogs, we have a pug, those are pretty expensive animals. And so if somebody, a breeder, was to gift you a purebred or you were to buy one from a reputable breeder, we know that these, these pets are not inexpensive by any means. And of course, the guinea pig. This is from crime scene photos. The guinea pig was actually still alive. So in the act where they show Patricia Arquette, who played Dee Dee's character, unaliving it, that's actually not true. So people watch shows like that and don't realize that it is just a dramatization that is loosely based on a true story. And that's, we have no idea how many other smaller animals they may have owned over the years, especially anything like, you know, fish, hamsters, guinea pigs, birds, anything like that. We There's no way to count how many more of them there are. We know that her stepmom and dad have two, but Ken Urker, he's got Parker, this dog. And it's also kind of weird that she would have two huskies tattooed on her and Ken's arms, considering she has never been a pet parent, a good one, one that's kept her pet from the time she got it to death. Yeah. I'm more concerned for this pet. 